Okay, the next topic of discussion is called goiter. You will hear the term multiple times, goiter. Goiter is nothing but enlargement of the thyroid gland, whatever the reasons are. The commonest cause of goiter, goiter can be because of low acting thyroid, hypothyroidism, overacting thyroid, hyperthyroidism. They can go by their names called Graves disease for hyperthyroidism. Dr. Graves is the person who described it. And then Hashimoto's thyroiditis for hypothyroidism. Dr. Hashimoto is the person who described it. But God can be because of multiple other reasons. A person is pregnant. During pregnancy, the thyroid gland produces a lot more thyroid hormones. So the gland can be enlarged. During puberty, the need for thyroid hormone is more. So the gland can be enlarged. In places where there's iodine deficiency, like the Himalayas in India, the country where I come from, and several other regions where there's less of iodine, or people are not using iodized salt, you can have uh, an enlargement of thyroid gland. Sometimes there are hormonal dysgenesis, where inside the pathway of the thyroid gland, the thyroid hormone is not produced well, so the signals from the pituitary gland keeps um, sending more signals to the thyroid gland to asking it to produce more and that can enlarge the thyroid gland. So that's what goiter means. Now the goiter can be very smooth which is just an enlargement of the thyroid gland but when you do biopsies over there it can be irregular inside because of the autoimmune attack due to the antibodies which happen in them. Sometimes where we have something called as multi-nodular goiter. goiter. Multi-nodular goiter is within the thyroid gland you have multiple nodules. Okay, Nodules are areas which are either solid or cystic which means um, um, swellings which has fluid in it. So solid means it's solid which has got no fluid inside. Cystic means it has fluid inside. So it's multi-nodular meaning multiple nodules uninodular goiter meaning one nodule and just because somebody has a goiter doesn't mean it has cancer but can a goiter also have cancer absolutely but it's relatively rare that's it thanks